good day friends in this lecture we are going to see what is a dc chopper a dc chopper is a high speed static device which converts fixed input dc voltage to variable output dc voltage so if we have a fixed value of dc here as input we can have a variable value of dc at the output this variable value can be either higher than the input voltage or the lower than the input voltage if the value of the output voltage is more than the input voltage we call it as a step up chopper if the value of the dc voltage at the output is less than that of the input voltage we call it as a step down chopper chopper is a high speed static device a variable dc voltage is obtained from a constant dc voltage source this is also known as dc to dc converter it can be either used to step down or step up a dc voltage why do we need a variable dc voltage in mild hybrid electric vehicles dc to dc converter is a mandatory part of the overall system it is typically used in buck mode to supply electrical energy to a 12 volt system which has been created by a 48 volt starter generator by buck mode we mean the operation as step down voltage in some cases such as starting the vehicle and autonomous driving functions it can also be used in boost mode boost means stepping up the voltage buck means stepping down the voltage also uh, dc is required in traction motors control in regenerative braking trolley cars marine hoist mine haulers and many other applications the advantages of a chopper control are it has a high efficiency faster response lower maintenance and size is very small smooth acceleration is possible let us now see how we can get variable dc voltages there are some conventional methods by which we can get variable dc voltages motor generator set resistance controller inverter rectifier or ac link chopper and dc choppers these are the methods by which we can get a variable dc voltage as output now let us see what a motor generator set is a generator a dc generator generates a dc voltage this is normally fed to a dc motor a dc machine has an armature and a field it means a generator has a dc it has a armature it has a field the motor also has a armature and the field the generator's voltage is given as the input to the dc motor generally if we want the motor to operate at a different speed then the input given to the motor has to be changed to change the voltage here that is which is generated by the generator the field excitation is to be changed so by using a variable resistance the excitation voltage to the generator is changed so this output voltage changes which is fed as the input to the dc motor so this method is a method to get a variable dc voltage but this method is costly bulky slower in response and less efficient because the generator field time is constant the next method is the resistance controller a variable resistance is inserted between the load and the source so in this case the voltage can be stepped down to a level but in this case more amount of energy is wasted as heat and for a given output voltage we need to have different values of resistances for getting different value of output current the third method is inverter rectifier or ac link chopper in this method the input voltage is dc output is also a dc 
but in between we have two components one is inverter other one is a rectifier a inverter converts dc to ac so when the value of dc is converted to ac then using a rectifier we will be able to convert this ac back to dc the reason for this is in the case of uh, ac voltage there is a frequency component which is missing in the dc component so if we want to convert uh, dc to dc the method is like stepping up or down the voltage can be done in this area so dc to ac conversion is done then ac to dc conversion is done so ac can be stepped up or down by a transformer in this case here in between this inverter and rectifier we have a transformer say for example we have 100 volts dc if it is uh, converted to say ac approximately say to 100 volts ac then this can be either stepped up or stepped down easily 100 to 200 or 100 to 50 it can be done and then that can be given as an input to the rectifier and then it can be rectified to the required dc value again this is a two stage conversion so this is costly again bulky and it is less efficient for having seen these three types of variable dc voltage uh, methods the choppers method seems to be a very good one compared to the other methods this being very small in size requiring less maintenance giving fast response any um, input voltage dc given it's a one stage conversion we get a variable dc voltage it can be either a stepped up voltage or a step down voltage what is used in this dc chopper is a high speed static switch it's a power con uh, semiconductor device and that can be either a thyristor a power bjt power mosfet gto or igbt this is only just one stage conversion and it's more efficient this can be thought of as a dc equivalent of an ac transformer just in a transformer as we step up or step down the ac voltage using this type of switches we will be able to either step up or step down the dc voltage we have step down choppers and step up choppers in step down chopper the output voltage is less than the input voltage both are dc in step up chopper the output dc voltage is more than the input dc voltage so here we will see the principle of a step down chopper so the representation of a chopper is like this we have a input dc voltage we have a load here chopper is usually represented just by a switch it's a high speed static switch that is it is uh, operated at a very very high speed so let us see the operation of a step down chopper if the switch is on then there is going to be a current flow in the circuit as shown by the line red line and if the switch is off the output is going to be zero so if the switching operation is continuously done with a very very high speed we will be able to get an output voltage which is uh, like shown by the dotted line here this time is t on during the t on when the switch is on we are getting the output voltage when the switch is off there is no output voltage so if the switching is done at a very high rate then we will get an average dc voltage which is less than that of the supply voltage so this is the basic principle of a step down chopper as long as the switch is on there is output voltage available when the switch is off there is no output voltage available so that is what is shown here the expression for the output voltage is the input voltage into t on by t on plus t of the of the whole time time for which the switch is on we get the output voltage if we take this as the whole time as capital t and represent this t on by t as alpha which is also called as duty cycle we'll be getting a output voltage vdc which is equal to v into alpha so based on the duty cycle the output voltage can be changed this is a very basic principle of a step 
down chopper for stepping up the dc voltages we should have an energy conversion device in the circuit which we will be seeing in the next lectures thank you